Okay, everyone, so I bought these starburst plants, two of them, one, two, planted them less than a year ago, and I did not expect them to grow so fast. So I need to do some pruning, but I figured I would do a propagation video while I was doing that. And I cut off a big chunk that had actually kind of broken off in one of the recent storms, and it did not seem to grow roots after I put it in water. So I'm thinking that I might need a smaller cutting a good place to cut from. Uh, what's really nice about these though is that they're pretty when they're flowering and when they're not. I've got these really pretty purple color underneath the leaves so when they're not flowering like right now fall time in Florida they're pretty uh, and when they are flowering springtime mostly uh, they have these beautiful uh, they you know they're called the starburst because they look like a starburst if we're really the firework uh, with these pretty white flowers. So let's, uh, let's come over here. Maybe I'll find a smaller offshoot that'll be better. Sorry for the noise. All right, let's grab, yeah, see, because the main, oh, stepping on ones here. Uh, the main stem, actually one, that's where the one broke off. And it does not seem to be growing roots, even though I've had it rooting for about two weeks. Typically with other plants, two weeks is plenty of time. So I'm gonna cut off some smaller ones here. We'll be down at the bottom because I really need ones crawling along the ground here. All right, so let's grab. These leaves are so big though. Big yes. some actually some notes here that all leaves have already been removed from so I'm just gonna cut just below that and the roots should be going from the nodes so below a node really in between because anywhere is good a little bit of an angle and then I'm gonna pull off these bottom leaves before I start to root it I may grab another one too okay so we're here about three weeks out with our comparison branches. And I learned a few things. So first, these thick branches. So see how thick this one is. Um, did not work. All the leaves dried, they didn't fall off, which shows me that this is probably dead. Yep, so it's all dead in there. Um, this did not work at all. Uh, no roots grew. It was, a bad cut anyway, um, so that's not really surprising, but no roots grew out of the nodes, nothing. So if it's brown, it's not gonna work. If it's green, it might work. Um, so you can see, I'll take this one out. These are all the beginnings of roots all along this one. So this one, uh, you know, has quite a few leaf nodes on it, but really it's just green. <laughs> um, it's about a foot long cutting and it's doing great. The other one that's in here, a little harder to get out, is also starting to show the beginnings of some roots, not nearly as much as this one. Um, this one is a little bit longer. So from now on, I'm gonna be trying to work with uh, cuttings that are about a foot long, have multiple nodes. Um, this one did start with a few leaves on it and they gradually fell off, but they never got crunchy like this. So this is the way to go. If you wanna get some root growth, um, you should be able to get some within a month. On the topic of propagation, I did also want to mention one other uh, easier way to propagate is looking around at the base and seeing if you have any they're known as suckers, but they're basically like as the roots come out, um, they can shoot up new plants. And I actually have two on this one here. An easy way to identify is just flipping them over and seeing the color of the leaf on the bottom. So that way you know that they're not just like a regular old weed. So I have one right here and then I actually have another one right here that I just noticed. So if I wanted to take the easy route and I wasn't having success with water propagation, I could just carefully dig these up, kind of detach them from the original roots, make sure they still have some roots on them before you replant them. And then you have a couple of new plants.